ولا عاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين وصلى الله على النبي الأمين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. Seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of the greatest rewards that he will grant his believing servants once they enter into paradise. But this is something that is a burning desire that we have, even in this life, is to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's face. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to make dua, Allahumma inni as'aluka an-nadhar ila wajhika al-kareem. Oh Allah, I ask you, for the ability to look at your face, your noble face. So this is a desire. Even Musa, alayhi salam, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, وَلَمَّا جَاءَ مُوسَى لِمِيقَاتِنَا وَكَلَّمُهُ رَبُّهُ قَالَ رَبِّي أَرِنِي أَنظُرْ إِلَيْكَ And when Musa finished his 40-day period, and he, the time came for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to speak with him, كَلَّمُهُ رَبُّهُ Allah spoke to him directly. There was no third party. There was no, no angel. There was just Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Musa. Can you imagine speaking to God directly? Like, subhanAllah. This is the, the, the nickname of Musa, Kalimullah. The one who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke to directly. Can you imagine speaking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Just imagine that for a second. What that would he, what does his voice sound like? We read the Quran and we are amazed at the beauty of the Quran. And those are the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can you imagine hearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speak to you directly? But Musa alayhi salam, of course, speaking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you want to go further as a human being. So he said, Qala Rabbi Adini. Show me yourself so I can look at you. That human desire to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Show me yourself. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to Musa, قَالَ لَن تَرَانِي يَعْنِي فِي الدُّنْيَا لَكِنْ أُنْظُرَ إِلَى الْجَبَلِ فَإِنَ اسْتَقَرَّ مَكَانَهُ فَسَوْفَ تَرَانِي Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, You will not see me, meaning in this life. And the, the Arabic word that, or the the, the the Arabic word that was used was len. Len in the Arabic language, in most cases, to feed to a tetbid, it means forever, for eternity. However, we have to look at the context because there are other ayats in the Quran that show that we will see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wujuhu yawma idin nadira ila rabbiha nadira. That faces on that day will be bright with delight. Staring at their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there are other verses in the Quran that affirm that we will see Allah. So when we look at one, because one part of the Quran explains another part of the Quran. This is the first thing that the scholars use to explain the Quran. The explanation of the Quran by the Quran. So to say that we will not see Allah because of this verse is incorrect. Because there are other verses that affirm the ru'ya, seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Musa, you will not see me, meaning in this life, but stare at this mountain. I'm going to expose some of my nur, some of my light to the mountain. And if the mountain remains in its place, then you can see me. The mountain, Jebel, it is an inanimate object, obviously stronger than the human being. So if the mountain can handle the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, than the human being, possibly. But if the, the mountain itself cannot handle the ru'ya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then min babi ola, then of course the human being can't. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exposed some of his light to the mountain, the mountain turned to powder. Ja'alahu dekkan fakharra Musa sa'iqa and Musa fell unconscious when he saw this right in front of him. A huge mountain just turned to powder. Turn to dust, level with the earth. The scholars, <clears throat> they explain as the Prophet ﷺ mentioned in another hadith that what Allah showed of himself, nisful khinsa, it was half of a pinky, what would be equivalent to the half of a pinky of his light. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Al-Nur, Allahu nur samawati wal-ard. Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. 
Rather, the Prophet وسلم, he said in a hadith, لو كشف الله عن ستر وجهه لا أحرقت سبحات وجهه مد البصر. That if Allah subhanahu wa taala was to lift the hijab, lift the veil from his light, it would burn up everything, everything. So he only exposed a half of a pinky, half of the tip of a pinky, المل, half of the tip of a pinky to the mountain, and the mountain crumbled to powder. And Musa fell unconscious. فَلَمَّا أَفَاقَ قَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ تُبْتُ إِلَيْكَ وَأَنَا أَوَّلُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَأَنَا أَوَّلُ أَوَّلُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ He said, when he regained consciousness, he turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and said, Subhanak, glory be to you for, for me asking you such a thing. You know, and I turn to you in repentance and I am the first of those who believe. Meaning, enduring his time. An example of this is the Prophet ﷺ, he said, When the people of paradise enter into paradise. That when people enter into paradise, they will be called. You have an appointment with your Lord. And the people of paradise will say, Hasn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yubayyid wujuhana? Hasn't Allah brightened our faces? When you zahzihana anil-nar and he saved us from the hellfire. Wa adkhalana al-jannah and he caused us to enter into paradise. Meaning what else could there be? What else could there be other than, you know, being removed from the hellfire? Being allowed to enter into paradise? Brightening our faces? What else could there be? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will expose, he will remove the hijab, and the believers will stare at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the people of paradise will not have been will not have been given anything greater than staring at the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just imagine people in paradise enjoying all of the fruits and the, bl the bliss of paradise. And someone calls out and says, you have, an, you, know, a, you have an appointment with your Lord that he needs to give you something. And we turn and say, well, there's nothing else more. We, we're in paradise. We're enjoying paradise. What can be greater than this? And greater than that is staring at the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا حُسْنَ وَزِيَادَةً to those who do good in this life, for them is husna, paradise, waziyada, and something additional. The additional is staring at the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's Allah jalla wa ala. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to see his face subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hereafter. For indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa liyu dhalika wa qadirun ala kulli shay. Wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam tasliman kathira. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم